I'm Brett Barry. The Maui Zan Show on KAKU 88.5 FM, Kahului Maui, the voice of Maui. What up, Maui? This is Suzanne Kayan, and you are listening to the Maui Zan Show at KAKU 88.5 FM, the voice of Maui. We're broadcasting live from uh, the Akako Community Media Plaza at 333 Dairy Road. So really what I'm supposed to say is KAKU Kahului Maui. There's an official ID. So I don't know why they gave me a microphone, but they have. So here I am. And, uh, and before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors... Uh, Pacific Blues Society, which is bringing you Bobby Ray Bishop's Lady Sings the Blues, June 15th at Mulligan's on the Blue. That's at 7 o'clock. Bobby Ray Bishop's Lady Sings the Blues will feature Nara Boone, Jamie Gallo, and Sweet Mama D on the June 15th show. Wow, is that Friday night? Oh, wait, let's get you some mic. Now, I'm also talking about another really cool gig on Friday night, so let's go ahead and get get my guests dialed in okay so today in the studio i'd like to welcome um holding up the the center spot for those of you on the radio can't see us but those of you on facebook live that's who i'm talking to i guess lenny francis hi how are you hi miss k how are you today good welcome to the show you know i didn't get enough sleep last night so i got my radio voice on I oh can, I that's can give so you that good manly suave voice oh my god that is so good <laughs> <laughs> making everybody blush in a room I, today it, well yeah. you know what that's what makes the, that's what life's all about right that's having right. a nice time that's having right nice for time. sure so i ran into lenny a couple of weeks ago at a wonderful event at nalu's and uh we put our heads together and said we need to do a radio Radio show because Nalu's is doing a wonderful event right now called Puna Strong, and they're raising money for the Big Island, and it's such a charitable um, restaurant, and they also have such um, fabulous music that I thought, why not uh, do an hour? So I asked Lenny if he could bring some people, and you said, mm, here I am. These are the ladies that make everything work. Tell me who they are. So uh, to my right. Well, you know what? I'll let them introduce themselves. That's so, great, great. Starting on my right Jackie. is... Oh, hi. It's, it's Jackie Foster. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> it's not that exciting. <laughs> okay, so those who have never met Jackie before, what's uh, just like tiny background in your role in this whole Nalu's thing? Um, well, we've been, I've been part of Street Bikers United, which is kind of how I met a lot of the other people here or, and been a part of the Maui community for a while now. So um, Street Bikers United has got me involved with Toys for Tots, Tools for Schools, um, and everything that Ron Ponzo does at Nalu. So. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Very cool. And pretty much nothing gets done without Jackie. Yeah, and she's, I just love to say. she's the hidden hidden super force behind so many organizations, so many events, and uh, uh, again, she just mentioned Ron Ponzo. Right, and, right. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to make it here today. Um, he's but a big shout out, man! He does yeah. so much, not Absolutely. just for this community, but island wide. I mean, the first time it was, you know, really brought to my attention. I'm on the board of directors of Maui Pride, and he does a lot for Maui Pride, so I'm very familiar with his generosity and supporting local issues. But when the Orlando shooting happened, and they did the, I think, I don't know if it was the first Lays of Aloha, but it was the first one I was aware of, and just the time, the effort, the sensitivity, the emotion, everything that like goes on at that restaurant when you walk in. Like when I came in last Friday, you guys are sitting there talking about raising stuff for, you know, Big Island or whatever. So it's just amazing. Well, you know, that's a perfect segue because um, the lady on my left, I want her to introduce herself. Yes, uh, please welcome. And, How and, are you? And you talked about the lay of Aloha, and she was had a very big part in that, and of, of a few of them. I'd love to. I'd love done. to. Well, just a tiny bit about your background and and 
I'm sure you're a multifaceted woman, and but kind of what facet like relates to what we're talking about right at this second? Aloha, Vina, aloha, aloha, kakou. It's great to be with you here at Akaku and Akaku supporting um, not only Puna but Big Island Relief today. Yeah, and Maui preparedness. So mahalo. Um, yes, I've been involved with Ron and uh, also in Nalu's South Shore Grill. And we've been part of Le of Aloha. And it started with the terrorist attack in Paris. Oh, right. And then um, we went to Orlando. It's beautiful. They've actually um, taken the time to make um, something to help people to be aware of what happened in writing on shells, their names, uh, 150 times, so 49 names, to remember those in that horrific uh, terrorist attack. We've also been part of uh, Lay of Aloha and making a one mile or more lay for the Pacific Cancer Foundation oh. and raising money for our islands. That w- lay went to our one of our family of Maui County, which is the island of Lanai. And uh, can I interrupt you really sure. quick? Those who don't know what Lay of Aloha is, yeah, there you go. it's um, you know, I mean, are there they're extremely long hand done lay can you explain it absolutely um where it starts from is the tea leaf the lai right inside of the aina inside of the land and people including kimokeo kapalehua and those that have come to give us tea leaf are prepared and they're prepared for making lays and we look at the lays whether they're green or yellow or green or red the different colors that they represent all of us all people all religions all cultures and that we together when you weave a lay of aloha that we come together as one and so the symbology that no matter what happens that we are not separate you're on another island you're in another place of the world we're supporting that no matter what religion no matter what beliefs we are all one and that's been part of what carries the lay of aloha and and just to continue we also after making a one mile lay this is huge amount of lay if you can imagine right so it's not like just one that goes around your neck it's a mile long (laughs) see you get that right not the one around your neck that you buy at the store and then we did out to food land right we did a one mile to the hokulea uh coming back on the journey from 1976 and Oahu was honored to be with K2 News and giving us that space. And um, and then the horrific event uh, that happened in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, I And we did three miles, and we weren't alone because we are all one. And that was other islands and Kauai and Oahu and even Big Island. They were coming to send lays that could be joined together. And then those were delivered from Nalo, South Shore Girl, from Ron, and the team of Lay of Aloha to each of those places with Hawaiian protocol and most of all with Aloha for relief. So so the Lay of Aloha program, that's Ron's gig, right? That's not, I mean, it, I know it takes a community to make it happen, but is he the one who has spearheaded or? Absolutely. He guides us all. And um, when he says jump, we jump and weave, we weave. <laughs> and whatever Ron says, he has these immense visions with a huge amount of heart, huge amount of love. And we are so humbled and honored to come together as a community. And Maui keeps showing up. So mahalo, Maui. You just want to say that to the community and yeah, all the listeners. Yeah. Mahalo. Jackie? But, but, but Jackie, with the, um, with the thing that's going on now, what, can one of you guys tell me really quick the Puna Strong thing? It was like how uh, uh, it was several weeks long. Well, you uh, know, and it's and it's not just Nollies, like you said. It's the the street bikers uh, uh, organization. Can, so tell us a little bit about what what Puna Strong is, you know, and uh, then who else is kind of involved. You know, you could take. Sure, it. Let, yeah. let me finish up on the lay of Aloha Festival okay, well, okay, sure. because cool. the one I thing was it. of all the volunteers. I mean, that's what really made it happen we had at nalu's all these lays were made and done in front of nalu's put together right 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 uh, especially last one um tons of volunteers um not only that on the last one that was made we also got the schools involved because the last right? one was for the, yeah. the yeah. parkland and we also yeah. we also yeah. sent a lay to washington not necessarily for leaders but to show our connection and our solidarity for the nation and um, so we've sent lays for many different causes the children have been huge thank you Lenny and the schools 
that have been involved um, and getting those young people involved because they're the ones coming behind us. So if somebody is listening and they have kids, they, you know, want to be involved in this kind of thing, they just, you know, uh, pay, follow Nalu's Facebook page and or see Lea when Aloha. things are Lay of Loha. Lay of Loha on Facebook mm-hmm. or Street Bikers United. We have a website. Yeah, or Street Bikers United Facebook page as well. Okay. There's a Maui chapter. There's a Wahoo chapter, which will lead you to the Maui chapter. If okay, you just cool. Just sign on to that. Yes. And this is this is open to everybody. So so it's not just adults, teenagers. A- to anybody who one, wants the community. to. Yeah. Uh, it takes and many hands, this, obviously. This is the attraction yeah. to me. And We have a great inspirational leader, and we kind of just follow suit. And, and it's amazing. We come from all different walks of life. Um from music to corporate to right, just right. the average person off the street. And uh, that's our mantra right now. We are one. Right. You know, Ola, you didn't even share your name. Yes. Oh, I'm Kahualani Hill of Hawaiian Ceremonies. And I think my part is just to always support on the spiritual level. And no matter what the people believe, that I come always for toys for tots for the children to raise money for tools for schools which jackie can hear about for any island relief for any global relief to be able to offer the pule and for offering the blessings and that we all come together and just breathe and take a moment to pray and that's into everything into the cosmos that we are all connected we are all one and the thing that's so beautiful about that kind of consciousness or, or movement or or intention in life is that here on Maui like you talk about we've got Lenny was saying it's not just for older people or teenagers or kids there's so many things that go on in this island that it's from the littlest kid to the oldest kapuna uh, all different cultures all different walks of life socioeconomic levels I mean, it's it's one of the things I just really love about living here. Of course, there's divisiveness in all parts of the world, but it seems like more so than anywhere else I've experienced, we really work hard to kind of come together as one. And everything that you guys are talking about right now has reminded me of one of the reasons I value living on this island so much is because of that. Yes. That's right. And I Amen. Think symbol- <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's right. I think the symbology too of the Lay of Aloha is that once you weave it together, you cannot tell it apart. There is not, if you're rich or poor or young or old, we've had women who are hapai, who are pregnant and are extended that energy into the lay. We've sat at Nalu's day and night during lays as well. When um, when Nalu or Leilani or the dogs come, the animals come, and, and they're part of it, where people come um, that have actually been touched by these disasters and can come weave their prayers, weave their thoughts, weave their mana, weave their breath. And when it's all together, one mile, you can't imagine. You cannot tell it apart. And been very humbled in Orlando to write all the names of all of those that perished and um, did that. 49 times and did that three times so we had three sections of lays and this time we are just coming together and have a lay of aloha of souls and it's about every single person it's about all of us giving to the big island for puna uh, puna strong for big island strong right lenny yeah we're just pushing jackie off to the side for now <laughs> but you know i, I just we're gonna we're gonna give her a chance you know the one thing about us the three of us while we're here today we kind of represent three specific zones, if you will, of, um, of this realm that we do uh, with Lay of Aloha, you know, Big Island, Puna Strong, um, Street Bikers United, Toys for Tots. We'll, we'll, we'll go down the list. But um, Ala, if you know who Ala is, Alani, she's also, your new title now is um, Jackie. Drum roll, please. No. Uh, she's right a little bit. So my, so my announcer, <laughs> my co-host, Mike Courier, is not here today, and he's usually really good because he's on the phone. He's going, oh, well, that's so it. And he's doing research as <laughs> oh, we're going along. All right. Well, so. I'll keep going with this segue. But, uh, but she's the spiritual side <laughs> of everything that goes on. If everybody has seen Allah on this island, she does all the blessings at main events. From, so beautiful. From the Mac to Na- uh, Nalu. Some of them. Uh, <laughs> yes. Why don't you, do we have that information? information? I don't. I don't want to get it right. I don't want to get it wrong. Rather, about sure you are the you are the um, 
the cultural to the Maui County oh, Maui now? I am on the planning commission and the Hawaiian cultural advisor, very humbled till the next person comes. It's just no matter right. what, I'm not in politics. I'm here to serve. Right. Or to serve God, a Keakua, serve humanity, serve the culture, serve the Aina. And we all are in service in different ways. And um, your voices, our voices are being heard. So, and Lenny, uh, Let's talk about you for a minute in the Maui Entertainers well, gonna, Coalition for Disaster Relief. I know. Gonna t- I was going to talk about Jackie. Oh, we can get to that. Jackie. So Jack, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie to what, Silo. What, that's wait, okay. wait till she starts talking. What, but is, the, what is the Street Bikers? Yeah. T- I mean. Oh, so Street Bikers United. It's an Street organi- Bikers United. It's just okay. an organization that anyone can join. Um, it's specifically, uh, not specifically, but it's basically for, um, it protects the rights of motorcyclists. Um, it also promotes safety within the motorcycle community along with you know we have to get along on the road with cars and everything else so, so it's we're like a community organization or it's a non-profit it's, it's, or it's, it's a, a non-profit organization um anyone can join okay. like i said it's mostly made up of motorcyclists and enthusiasts or um uh, uh, related people you it's, know you're or allies your allies to the yeah. that right, community yeah. yeah and then we're also slated with doing um we always we we have a duty and a privilege we kind of feel as well to do good in the community okay. so we like to do our good work in the community charitable wise and and that's another big part of us as well and the street bike is a 503b aren't they 5013c yes yeah so so yeah. you get you are involved in with Nalu's and, and the Puna Strong and Lays of Aloha in what way? Well, Ron Ponzo's the um, president of Street Bikers United. Okay. Along with being the all-around good guy of the whole community. Yes. <laughs> we all agree, yes. We don't know what we would do without him. Right? Oh, awesome. But, so you, but you can see yeah. who the one has the great organizational skills. I know. The paperwork. I know. She's got, she's got the answer. She's got a Clearly degree. She's and, got uh, the answer. On a BS, is that correct, Jackie? Oh, I'm full a BS. Of BS. Yeah, a yeah, BS. She's full of a BS. In social so, work. Social work, yes. Yeah, so say also you you do have a bachelor's degree in social yeah. i do from I do. where from where uh, i grew up in massachusetts okay so yeah well because my undergrad degree was in sociology oh, and, yes. and i've all you know i planned on going back and getting my master's in social work but then i decided i wanted to be a journalist so i went mm-hmm. back and got a second yep. major in journalism well, awesome. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> wanted cool. to share though for street yeah, bikers united do. um the involvement they have which is huge it's, it's not just about bikers but where the community can get involved and also know how to give to the children not only in Maui but Maui County and Lanai and Molokai <clears throat> and Jackie you could probably give us some sets as well as tell us a little bit for tools for schools yeah well uh, a big part of what we intend to do is um, there's a lot of organizations that are there to give and uh, during toys for tots time etc but we're kind of trying to fill the gaps so that um, right because some of these organizations you know, I mean, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but they're overflowed with charitable offerings at the holidays and throughout the year. It's not quite exactly I mean, if we learn to spread it out throughout the year. Exactly. Okay. And we've had um, um, the the greatest sponsors along with us, like Minute Stop is a huge um, sponsor for us, a Zeka Marketplace. Uh, Mau- Maui Motorcycle Company used to be Cycle City. Right. We have Min- Nalu's, obviously. You know, with Ron Nalu's South Shore Grill. Kona Brewing is on. Kona Brewing yeah. is on board. Um, so we get we get a lot of great donations that we do really good with, like Toys for Tots. We're able to do you know the the three thousand plus toys at that time, which go to. Like from Hana to Molokai to Lanai and and wherever else they might need, and many many smaller organizations on Maui that they don't have the uh, budget for those some of those extras that they would like to do for their clients. So, so we fill those gaps. As so well. every time you walk into Nalu's and you go up to order, and right there by the front desk, there's either a pile of toys or a pile of goods and goods or a thing of water. It's hard water. to get you food. No, 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 I'm serious. But, right? but there is always, it seems like, mm-hmm. an opportunity to give. Yes. You know, and so, so like when you say that you like to... I mean that you participate in all that that that's that right that's that's the yes that's all that's at, it's all associated okay. with it and yeah. and then there's sometimes something else that pops up and if Ron you know if, if 
if we've heard if Ron's heard of something someone's in need then we're usually there to fill a void for somebody and Susan you mentioned I love what you mentioned that people come together in the holidays uh, for Christmas or the holidays whatever they're celebrating to give and there's something that's really great that's to uh, Bikers United do and that's tools for schools and I mean, literally down to the slippers. So you want to tell us, Jackie? Yeah, what is Tools for Schools? Yeah. Well, Tools for Schools, um, it, it's, it started quite a few a few years back. But what we do is we, we started with just giving 50 backpacks to Hana and Molokai because we didn't have a lot of extra money at the time. But we thought there's a little bit of a need for kids on Molokai and Hana. They, they tend to get missed right. because it's smaller communities. And the children on let's say molokai if you don't have slippers you can't go in and get your lunch so they would have to share slippers and somebody is inevitably going to miss their lunch hour right which is just you know broke our hearts right so, and it also i mean it, it doesn't do good for their self-value or self-worth if there's somebody who can't go in and get lunch because exactly. they don't have shoes there you go. and and if you're not if you're hungry you're not going to learn as well as you know right the, the, exactly the poor look oh, i mean gonna, the guy you're next gonna be to you an easy fit onto our team yeah. <laughs> I'm right there She's with you. Okay. Yeah. You're getting all this now. But we get it. All we've right. worked our way up to doing over 300 backpacks at this point to, again, some more. We've been able to still stick with our Molokai, our Lanai, our, our Hana, and our Maui County, and, and some of those organizations that, again, get um, they don't get enough funding. So we're able to fill some more of those gaps. And, you know, everybody gets a lot of slippers and a lot of school supplies and our community is very generous oh that's so yeah. amazing let me tell you what was amazing i was part of uh fortunate to be a big part of uh, the toys for tots for that drive right um i was blown away with jackie and ron organized and everybody else first of all the whole event was a full-on complete day event where they shut down the Zeka Plaza. It looked like Fourth Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Right. <laughs> and I get there, I, and I didn't know, I was, you know, handling the music side of it, and I got there, and there's a whole bunch of bicycles, and uh, Ron says, hey, where are you going? I said, I just stopped to let you know what I'm doing. I'm going to take care of the other thing. He says, oh, no, no, stay here. you got to take a picture with the mayor. I'm like, the mayor's here? <laughs> <laughs> with the bicycles? Yeah, so exactly. I still So how many bicycles altogether, Jackie? And we, we, there's a lot more behind the scenes, but that day yeah. of, we have time to do between 20 and 30 bicycles. And they go, the, the children are right there. They get lined up. Allah does the blessing. And then off we go to the races and the kids but are the, getting but their the, bicycles. The important thing I wanted to say, 20, am I right with this? 25 of the bicycles went to 25 families on Molokai? Yeah, well, in Molokai and Lanai. And, yes, and, as well. And this is something that's done all the time in this fashion and manner that sometimes makes the press or it doesn't. Right. It gets on Facebook. It gets on a radio show like this with you or might get in the Maui news. Or you know what? You'll just hear about it later on. Yeah. Um, well, that's one the of thing them. is I'd like to help you guys be Thank like you. proactive. So, Because like when I came in Friday night, and I'm quite familiar with Nalu's. And I walked in, and the the Puna Strong thing was going on, and I was like, "Man, I felt like uh, like how come I didn't know about it?" So I like <laughs> we didn't know about I, it. <laughs> I, I, so yeah, so some of this stuff is really last minute, and yeah. and so I think it's really important. That's why I thought it was really important to have you guys on, so so people can like dial in, like we said, like Nalu's Facebook page. Pay attention to what's going on, you know, or if you know something that's going on, like if you know something that's going on and maybe the person doing the social media marketing for knowledge hasn't posted about it, you know, post about it, share, love your experience because it's such a, it's, it's, it's just such a positive collection of people and individuals, which is really evident just in the fact that look at the way we're having. You know, having a conversation right now, and oh, let's talk about let's talk about Friday night and this amazing. Oh, that, event. That, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. was a perfect example. Go ahead, it was a perfect <laughs> example about last minute how we jump from person to person. Exactly. Go ahead, so, Ali. so yeah. Gonna, so earlier, oh, early in the show, I thanked my sponsors, uh, and they're having a show on June fifteenth. So there's lots of exciting things going on. Absolutely, on June fifteenth. And so you know what? I need to take a quick little break. So let me go ahead and take care of some business. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about what's going on at Nalu's on Friday night because 
I'm gonna be there, and I want right. to know what's what's gonna happen. So, oh yeah, um, oh yeah. Before we go, I'd like to say this is Suzanne Kayan for the Maui Zan Show at KAKU eighty eight point five FM, the Voice of Maui. I'd like to thank my sponsors, Pacific Blues Society. Um, they're bringing Bobby Ray Bishop's "Lady Sings the Blues" to Mulligans on the Blue June fifteenth from seven to nine p.m. And this edition of Lady Sings the Blues will feature oh, Nara Boone, Jamie Gallo, and Sweet Mama D. Uh, oh, all friends man, of us. And they're yeah. wonderful people. Oh, wonderful people. Amazing. Um, amazing. And so my announcer's not here, so I'm going to try to take care of business. And I will be right back after this. All right. KAKU 88.5 and the Maui Zan Show would like to thank our sponsor, Pacific Blues Society. Bobby Ray Bishop's Lady Sings the Blues, June 15th at Mulligan's on the Blue in Wailea. This edition of Bobby Ray Bishop's Lady Sings the Blues will feature Nara Boone, Jamie Gallo, and Sweet Mama D. KAKU and the Maui Zan Show would like to thank Pacific Blues Society and Bobby Ray Bishop's Lady Sings the Blues for sponsoring this programming. Maui Youth Now Show, focusing on youth culture today. This weekly half-hour show is produced by and created for you. Taking the pulse of youth culture from an island perspective. Watch local news, current events, fun challenges, trending videos, game reviews, and learn about other youth in your community. Join us Tuesdays at 5 p.m. on Akaku 55 or catch us on Vimeo. I'm Little Teapot Short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. No, Dad, like this. When I get all steamed up, then I shout, tip me over and pour me out. <laughs> this is WWE superstar Roman Reigns. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. The Grateful Dead played a different set list at every show. Since no two concerts were ever the same on stage, the same goes with the Grateful Dead radio program on KAKU 88.5 FM. It's dead air. We enjoy the music of the Grateful Dead and the genius of Jerry Garcia. It's an hour of killer recordings, stories from the taper section, tall tales from the parking lot, and I'll throw in an interview from time to time. I'm Corey Daniels. Saturday nights at 8, you'll get dead air on KAKU 88.5 FM. That ended fairly quickly. I don't know what was up with that. Anyway, this is Suzanne Kane, and you are listening to the Maui Zan Show, and I got to check out that show, Dead Air. I'm, I'm kind of late to the Grateful Dead. I've had lots of friends who are deadheads. I've seen, been blessed to see Jerry Garcia and Bob Ware and Phil Lesh in concert individually, and just lately, since I've gotten a little bit older, I'm driving down the street listening to some really jazzy, cool music. I'm like, what is this? It's the Grateful Dead. So anyway, that's here on KAKU 88.5 FM. And we are in the studio with the team. Well, I'm calling you guys the like. No, I was going to come up with something clever, but didn't 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 work. So <laughs> anyway, please not the three Stooges. I know. Just no, no. Target your insults uh, yeah, towards no, me. Yeah, no, no like, insults. This, okay. the, the, the theme of my <laughs> show, like the theme song, is evolve. And I, everybody's like, when you do a radio show, Suzanne, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I don't know. Sometimes I want to talk about fashion or gossip about celebrities. Sometimes it's really important issues, you know, giving back to the community, emergency preparedness. I talk a lot about uh, domestic violence. I talk about teen suicide. But I do a lot of music. And, and, and the whole, the thing that pulls it all together is because, like, I love having people do live music on there is, like, we're just trying to evolve. We're just trying to be a tiny bit better tomorrow, put a little bit of positive energy in the air every day. And that's it. You know, that's that's all it's it's about. I have no idea where I was going with that, but here we are. <laughs> and thank you for being here. Mahalo. Well, because we talked about there's other things we want to talk about. We want to talk about Friday night. Don't let me forget. We want to talk about emergency preparedness. We want to talk about... Well, the Maui, uh, the emergency preparedness will tie that in if talk about the coalition, Maui Entertainers Coalition. Oh, that's for right. Disaster relief, right? Right, that, right, right. That's on the back end of all this. Because as I was saying before, that's the beauty about this. Allah brings 
what she brings to the table, Jackie, and what I do is bring up the rear with the support of the musicians and also uh, my experience in the business community. So understanding things on a independent business and corporate level. Right, right, so, right. So right. um, that's why I, Ron, I've known him personally for quite a while before Nalu's managing other places uh, on the island and different businesses. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to say that yes. uh, Lenny was also involved with Nala South Shore Grill in, in helping Puerto Rico, and that was huge to oh, reach Oh, that was a big one. And yeah. Lenny I, it's, it's, just... It's just so sad that there's so many, though. I you know. know? It's like, but it's also joyous that you think of, oh, my God, there's something else that the community did. Oh, there's something else that the community and did. And we need to give. We yeah. need a place where we can give, and how do we help? So Lenny brought together the entertainers and helped us raise a lot of money. You want to talk about that a little bit? Well, that, that was actually the first big um, collaboration I did with Ron. Right. On that level. We did some mini projects here and there. And I, I don't want to forget Don Lopez, Uncle Don Lopez, who's Uncle not Don. here right now. Unfortunately, he's not feeling well today. So, uh, And he, he has to get well because isn't he playing Friday yeah, night? Yes. So <laughs> if, you don't know, if you don't know Uncle Don Lopez, Kanakua. I just got to okay. say, I listen to a lot of music on this island. I love that band. Those guys we are love amazing. Koa. I just, they're fabulous. Right. Oh, no, they get I, I had some friends in town that were from California, listened to like hip hop or whatever. Very kind of hipster. One was 19, the other was 24. They were, were kids of some friends of mine. I've known these kids since they were little. And I'm like, well, he's 19. Where can we go? And she wanted to go nightlife. And I said, well, let's go to Nalu's. We'll have dinner. And, uh, you know, Connie Koa is playing. And these kids were floored. And these are, you know, I mean, they were floored. And I love that. I love that a, a 60 year old woman and a 19 year old boy can go see the same band at the same restaurant and both just totally dig it. And the beautiful thing is also is Nalu's is like the place to go on the south side of the Rock are in Maui because we've got Amy Hanai Gilliam, mm -hmm. Hokohano Hano Award winner. Hey, on every every Wednesday, single Wednesday night, right? Every Wednesday and every single night, every single day is music. And on Friday, there's three sets of band. Barry Flanagan, who started Hapa, the as well as Eric Gilliam playing on Saturday night. Night before Connick, well, you got to give it up for these islands. Saturday night with Barry Flanagan. That's another. I mean, those are like my two. I haven't been able to come to Amy's show yet, and I don't know if I want to because then that's three nights a week. I'm in all lose. I'm there yeah, Friday that's night. Don't worry, that's okay. I'm just gonna have a little <laughs> office built in the corner, yeah. you know. But but I do. I come see Barry Flanagan of Hoppa and Eric Gilliam, and that is just to be able to go into a restaurant. There's lots of nice restaurants, lots of nice entertainment on this island, but to be able to make a, res a reservation for a dinner show, go in, you have a table, you have food, you can see, you know, and you're seeing world class, like Saturday night. In nights. a comfortable yeah. setting. In a comfortable yeah. setting. And, and Friday night, Puna yeah. Strong now, Big Island Strong. Yeah, what, what, there's all kinds of stuff. Usually Friday nights is... Every other one is Kanikoa, and then every other one is... Every Friday night, we have the blessings of uh, Barry Flanagan flying over from Oahu and being here for Friday and Saturday night. So he plays solo, and if you've never seen Barry just do whatever he wants, um, he just lets go, and he embodies that aloha. He embodies that place. So before the duets on Saturday, we have him on Friday. We've got Kenny is, is, is Is Barry Flanagan playing on Friday night? He'll be here. Yeah. He'll oh, yeah. be, that's my yeah. homeboy, Barry. Yeah, he'll be here. He'll be playing here on uh, get on Friday. Actually, it'll be Moko Harris. Okay. If you don't, and a lot of people I don't, don't know, know who that is. Well, you know, he's he actually is from the Big Island. I guess oh, we should talk about okay, that Friday. Cool. He actually is from the Big Island. He's an entertainer for a long time. I know Moko about for about twenty years. He's uh, he was one of the leading artists um, a decade ago that used to go over to California and played a lot. Okay, like so, our generation. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He's exposed. <laughs> yes, our generation. Like, like the way yeah. I fit myself in with all you oh, yeah. young yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Same. right. Hey, how you doing? How Thank you. Doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? So. Um, 
No, but Moko, uh, Moko actually gave uh, Maui a lot of exposure over in California, uh, mm-hmm. and and he plays the hotels. So he, this is kind of <laughs> playing Niles. I hate to say this because he's been around forever, but it's like he's out in the general public now. Uh, but great guitar player. So it's vocalist. a big deal that he's going to be there yeah, on Friday. Yeah, absolutely, night. absolutely. Well, and he's there with the the ladies of Nalu's. They call it. They do hula. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Them. It's a wonderful show. Yeah. Oh, and you, now what time does what time does the festivities on Friday? This is going to start yeah. at five o'clock. That's around this, five five thirty. Yeah. yeah. So if I get there by four, maybe I'll get sure. a chair. Uh, <laughs> and happy hour, and I'll be there for uh, adult beverages. Yeah. Adult yeah. beverages. Yeah. You can, you can make a reservation for. You a can table. make reservations, and we want people to understand because we put. It up, Puna Stone. We've got so much community um, supporting with donations. I think Jackie can share a little bit more about it. Um, but they're kind of waves of how we're giving our donations to the Big Island. And now we're just asking that people can come support. And uh, Nala's intention to have a meal to share Hawaiiana culture to support the Big Island, to support uh, not only Puna but Kapo and all the people of Big Island, and to be able to give um, cash or gift cards. We're doing well. Uh, let, let me let me finish on the entertainment sure. part. We Go ahead. Jumping ahead a little bit on sure. that. So besides Moku Harris, we got, of course, then uh, Barry flies in. I think. Are you going to pick him up at the airport? I think I'm picking him up. So, so, I know, so I know he's going to be here. He'll Somebody's so, got to pick so Barry up. So this is confirmed on air. On so air. So Barry Flanagan will be up next after Moku and the ladies of Nalu's, uh, and then Kanakoe. Uh, Kanakoe closes out the show, and, and that's Don Lopez mm-hmm. and Vince Esquire. Uh, Mr. Kanako himself, and then uh, Travis Rice. Travis, yeah. And they are, let me tell you, that that band is not only from the general public and populace, but musicians, uh, well-respected. We look at that type of music and what they do, and here's my face. That's, that's yeah, how I'm depressed. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, yeah you're depressed because... Well, well th- I'm not depressed, but impressed. Yeah, maybe, impressed. maybe I am depressed after <laughs> the show. Because we're not doing <laughs> it. Right, right, right. I'm going to give up music well, now. And that's uh, the thing. I've been so blessed to have people on the show, and Vince has been on numerous times, but we've been trying to get the whole band on to do a jam session. And like today with Uncle Don, you know, not being able to make it, it's tough. Everybody's busy. Yeah. And my show isn't like five days a week it's one day at two o'clock so that i have one opportunity if it doesn't meet with somebody's schedule it doesn't but but if you have not I'm, i don't want to like beat a dead horse and it's terrible because i mean if i love this band bobby ray bishop and lady sings the blues nara Bo- boone jamie gallo and they're playing at mulligans on friday night and um uh, and, and it's terrible because I love this band and I love Connie Koa both so much. And and my, I have a teenage daughter and she's always like, there's never, never anything to do on this island. Well, that's not true if you're over 21 because there is so much live music just like at Nalu's alone. You could go see wonderful live music every single day of the and week. And we just want to say, oh, I see that you've got it from 7 to 9 p.m. on June to 15th, and knowledge is going all the way to 10. Oh. So there we go. We want, we want to spread the... to 5, right? Yeah, we want to so, spread the word, uh, so, the word so and the con- wealth. Conceivably, you could come to knowledge from 5 to 7, show your support, bop over and c- catch one set of Lady Sings the Blues, and bop back... And still Why be able not? to get a good chunk of Connie Cohen. And not forget to give. And oh, and yeah. give. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and you know what? Just as a matter of something I always do to see in prior weeks, the events coming up, actually the big one that we're all up against is the Maui Film Festival. <gasps> that tonight. is. Welcome tonight. So well, that's that's tonight. So, and that starts, yeah. and I runs through the weekend. So there's a lot to do. There's, there's a lot, always there's a lot, lot of to choices. Do. So There are a lot of choices. So that's going to be our focus, too, is to bring in a lot of people before they go to the film festival stop in for a cocktail get ready for your movie right and, have and, a little fun with us and the kind of stuff you guys you're asking for cash donations as well as checks checks to toys parade inc you want to tell us yeah. about that yeah, yeah. if, if um, cash is always you know a good way to go um, checks are just fine um, you have to make them out to toy parade inc which is our four five zero one three c that way you can write that off right on your taxes um you can also bring in um, gift cards. Gift cards to Costco, Safeway, Walmart, Home Depot that they can use on the Big Island to actually purchase what they need. The, those are all on the Hilo side. Would be, th- yeah. Those would be great. Like yeah. I like yeah. Home Depot, I can imagine. Right. right. Even People. tents and tarps and yeah, tape. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And 
keep going. We just like interrupting. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's fine. So, um, and uh, the the whole dinner buffet. If you sign up to do the dinner at not lose that night, that one hundred percent of those proceeds are as well going to go to this cause. So, if so there is a dinner buffet. Dinner buffet as reservation well. you can yes. make, and you get the dinner buffet, which is always fabulous. And yes. you get you get a seat. Yes, yes, you get a seat. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Oh my God, that was a great question. And, and Jackie, continue on. But one thing I want everybody to know: a hundred percent of what is donated, all the proceeds are going. So it's not ten percent portion, fifteen percent. It's just everything. It's a hundred percent plus plus. Because Nalo's is going to... Uh, Nalo's does I, 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 matching I, 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 and stuff, yeah. They're going to match stuff and do something afterwards. Yeah. And in a, in a form of extra donations, uh, food donations. So it's 100%. And a, there's not a lot of uh, events that can claim that. So Exactly. Just, just Continue, Jenny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have our table set up out front like you saw last time, Suzanne. We'll yeah. have the Minute Stop representatives there. They also have Minute Stops on the Big Island, so this is near and dear to their heart as well. Okay. Um, so we'll be collecting our donations there. Um, anything else you want to bring in? Um, we're going to go over there, and like Lenny was saying, um, we are going to – literally hand everything over to the needy people over there so it's not like some big corporation is going to come pick up your goods and you don't know where it's no, going no you no, guys are absolutely doing this. not you guys are personally Th this is what we want to drive home this. yeah this is not we're turning this over to a uh, representative of the red cross nothing wrong with that but exactly we're just, but it's there's this something is home. special about yes. doing knowing that somebody's doing it personally Yes, you know? and that's exactly a hundred percent will go personally with us. So that's and the tentative awesome. plan is Jackie that after everything is done and said collected, we're oh well, uh, we're still looking at the dates, obviously, but sometime next week we're waiting um, for Ron to get home, and then we're going to figure out our dates next week. But it's going to go, we're going to go pretty quick. And just want to say that, of course, relief is continuing to come. We're just part of that, a small part of that here on Maui. Right. And we're also looking for, there's been hundreds of donations from our community that are at NALU's, and we need a way for them to get there. So if anybody wants to step up and help NALU's, help Maui and Maui County get those to the people that need on the Big Island, um, we welcome that. And the lava flows, still, we still go. So this is not going to end um, on Friday night. Right. Right, because of they're going right. to keep needing help, and we need to keep giving, and that's what a right. law is all about. Well, I mean, you know, people are, I mean, very sad that so many people are displaced. Very sad that so much of the island is destroyed. However, this is our state evolving, right? This is the, the earth growing, you know, and we have to keep remembering that, that we all have the power to bring positive energy into this world and look at the lava flow yes there's been a lot of tragedy about it there's a lot there's a lot that a lot of help that's needed that's what we're here for you know we're here to make this a more positive experience in the long run so people who come up behind us and people who come behind us and still be a beautiful big island flourishing with people and you know, it's very sad. I've personally come across many people who are just like, oh, yeah, I lived on the Big Island. I had to leave. I mean, just had to leave, you know, and, and it's it's um, it's really touching you well, know, it, to be able to have an opportunity to share such that you guys are doing such really positive forward. And things. Jackie, Jackie was saying um, just to expand and expound on what you said Please do. was that we're actually going to have that? a contingency actually go over there and deliver everything right and, and facilitate it uh and we're it, yeah i mean if, if, that, if i think we've all been kind of watching the news and we saw those smaller um 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 what am I trying to say? The rough containers. Thank you. Oh, the containers. They're, yeah. they're making bing, bing, the little bing. homes basically for the people. So that's uh. one person's side. But they don't have. So then Project Vision's coming in with their. They have a high high van. They call it where they can take showers and stuff. So they're going to need a lot more of that. Washing machines is a big deal. Right. Where do you wash your clothes? Right. So Get a lot food. of what we're going to do is try to fill those gaps, like what we do here. You know, well, where's the the bigger organizations might be handling the bigger stuff. Where can we fill those gaps? Maybe there's a need to to buy one more washing machine. Maybe it's right. you know whatever they're going to need over there, and we'll be 
going there directly, like we said, and making sure that happens literally when and where they need it. Right. So you're not delivering, you know, a truck. Not too close. No, no, you're perfect. perfect. <laughs> it's it's your headphones are loud, and that's probably what's ah, happening. Come on, you rookie. Yeah. Step am am up, I yelling? Huh? Yeah. No, you're be, it's better. I don't mean to yell at you, no. Susan. You know, most people Passionate. are like back here, you know, but we need you to get up there and, and talk. But, you know, that's, that's a really good point because often in situations like this, you know, they'll have, you know, a million of one thing and nothing of the other. So you can go over there and see what it is that people are really needing. You know, yes. like you, like you, the schools. You know, like people might not think off the top of their head that needing slippers is a really, really important thing. And unless you go somewhere and you see what's there, you might not know what's going to be so important to this this situation. Exactly. That's why it'll be good for us once we get over there. Then we'll know more. What is more? What is going to be needed in the next two, three, four weeks, a month, two months? And slippers to go on sale. They're only a dollar. Mm-hmm. June twenty third, all day at Old Navy. So anybody really? wants oh, to go it? buy a bunch, drop them at Nalu's. And wow, awesome! Those oh, those will definitely come in handy. That was a good point, Suzanne. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So now, so I, I, like my mind is a roller coaster. I will eventually get where I'm going. We were talking oh, about. <laughs> we were talking about. We got to shut my to think we were talking about something that's going to go on at the restaurant next this ne- friday no this friday is the one we're talking about the the big event the event what, is this friday this friday at Nautilus, but right. we started talking about going forward you said there's going to be more things going on when ron comes back and- well they'll certainly be still collecting there okay um and people can always inquire there what else is needed and yeah. Right. Yeah. And just wanted to thank also the people that have come before because we are all connected. We are all one. And there's been some amazing donations already that can continue to come. These children yes. over there have lost everything. And thank goodness for um, for Toys for Tots. And there were some extra toys. J- Jackie's been able to keep together to be able to deliver to the people of Big Island, which is beautiful. And we're not forgetting the winged ones, the four-legged ones. Right. There's a lot of animals over there. There's a lot of needs that we just don't know. Right, like Lenny just said, pet food. You know, you don't mm-hmm. think about those things automatically. And, 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 it, and it's a changing, it's a changing volatile situation. And the follow-up to the actual event is the tentative plan right now is that contingency of knowledge is going to go there. Uh, to deliver any donations, container-wise, but also to bring food and actually go to a couple of those shelters and have a dinner and bring entertainers over there. Yeah, so we, we just have yes. we and, wanted to say uh, mahalo too for the patience of everybody coming into Nalos to eat and a whole relief center that's right in the front uh, and next door go. because we don't have everywhere because it needs to get to the people of Big Island. Right, but so it's pi- piling up. <laughs> it's piling up. Thank God to everybody. Thank you to everybody who keeps giving. Awesome. Well, you guys, when you go over. Take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of pictures and share them on Facebook because, you know, I I just told my editor the other day, I think that we should just do a feature story on Nalu's because you guys give so much to the to the community you know, you'll, you'll so need a two-hour show for that one <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might not cover it either right no we could sit here and talk all day uh, you know uh, um, so many individuals besides us i mean we're just we're in the forefront and it's well lenny did you want to tell us about your coalition um, yes yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. The Maui but, Entertainers but, Coalition for Disaster Relief. Yeah, relieved. so I guess, yeah, all right. When did, when did it? The it, Maui Musicians Coalition. So, yeah, coalition. Well, you know what? I'll yeah. pick up uh, with Uncle Don Lopez because we. It, this is something we started. The actual uh, the name of the organization that we have is called Maui Entertainers Coalition for Disaster Relief. Okay. And this came up years ago with Michael Elam. We know from Soul Kitchen. Soul Kitchen, yeah. President of Banao Radio. Right. And uh, when he was actually working as a DJ, I met Michael a long time ago on the beach, believe it or not. We used to jam on Sundays. Oh, where? So this is, uh, I don't know if I should, say, yeah, I could say this on there. <laughs> by Monokai, and it's the Maui Beach Boys, and a lot of us go there. I mean, last Sunday, Steve, you know Steve Craig, he was down there with myself yeah, and a few other musicians. We yeah. all get together, so Mike Finnewick comes down. I, I can go down a whole list of musicians. It still goes on? Yeah, absolutely. 
So uh, I my, heard about it. Oh, I was yeah, invited, you stop down, but I definitely. didn't know. Yeah. yeah anyway, now, go ahead. I made it public, but that's okay. Uh, so Michael <laughs> it Elam was and on then, uh, Facebook already this week. <laughs> so we got together, and Don Lopez. You know, Don has been at Manau. He was at Manau forever. Right. Um, right. Besides being a great musician, working with Willie K, and uh, the list goes and on. And a also pr- producer. He works in the uh, studio with Vince. Yeah. And then I got to know him at Manau. Um, I, you know, I ran across Don for years and years, and we started discussing how we could help the community. So actually, Michael Elam was a big part of this. Um, we took a little time off, uh, and then Michael got busy with Manau and then with Soul Kitchen. So it was actually me and Don that's that's been kind of putting legs under this whole vehicle. Um, uh, like I said, Don unfortunately is not here today. But part of what what what, I- what is the coalition? What do you guys do? The purpose? Well, the whole purpose about it is to respond is to thank you for asking that is to uh, basically have a roster of musicians that we can always ask when so we get a disaster and we need to put on a show. Oh, okay. Because it, it always starts with the musicians. We right. Get the musicians on board, then radio comes on board, TV comes on board, donations come on board. Corporate comes on board. Right. So right. it really starts with us. And we're always the first ones to give. Right. We are. We step up. So it's a blessing, again, going back to Niles and Ron Ponzo, because here's a man, it's almost the other way around. It's like instead of me knocking on doors, he's asking me, Lenny, what can you do? Let well, me talk to Don. And we kind of put it together. And, and the whole purpose that we want to do, that we've been behind for a long time, that's really coming to the forefront with the coalition, is about emergency preparedness. Okay. Uh, and now, with Kauai, Big Island, you know, it's... It's more real and more apparent than ever. The stuff is getting real, and that's not the phrase that we use. Yeah. But it's getting real. The crappy is getting yes, real. Yes, <laughs> So, part of this on the back end, um, uh, as I was, I was emceeing the last, uh, I guess we were all emceeing, co-emcees, yes. and, and helping uh, put the first part of this benefit together, Um this back part, we wa- really want to share that with everybody that donates or whoever comes there. And it's part of being ready, well, prepared. We have pamphlets, and we've got paperwork and booklets that we got from the county. So the county's involved in this now, and we never really had them involved. They always just discussed it, and now they're, they're, they're really active, being proactive. They've and, and they're supporting, and yes, they're providing they're supporting materials. Us, they're supporting, Shout they're, out to the they're county. They're supporting uh, hotels now. Yes. They've contacted hotels to have suggesting they have meetings uh, with their employees for preparedness. Also, condo associations are being contacted, and they're starting to make mailers and flyers to residents. So this is starting to gather steam, and really that's what Don and I are about. It's not only that, it's to share, let everybody know that musicians out there are giving. Everybody's on a roster. Even you have, we're promoting uh, Bobby Ray Bishops. He's on a roster, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Barry Flanagan, Eric Gilliam. Everybody, Connor Cole is on a roster. So obviously everybody on the show is on a roster. Right, 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 right. Soul Kitchen, I discussed Michael Elam. So a uh, majority of musicians on the island are on a roster. And any given time, I can give them a call and, and beg, borrow. And, so, and f- so for example, <laughs> is, it, give, is, give, is, give. Is, it, is it solely for the events that go on at Nalu's or let's say as a board member of Maui Pride could I come Abs- to the Musicians Ab- Coalition and say like we're doing a community event we need musicians that will donate their time this is our cause this is our need I mean do you match what make with other organizations too or is it solely shows you put on it and all is no no we're open to anything uh, right right now we're running on cruise control uh, behind the scenes, so right, we're not right, in the right, forefront, right. and and it's it's everybody else is taking the lead. So that's kind of the position we have at this point. Cool. But yes, the answer is yes. We'd be open to anything that's on the awesome. board for something that would run along the lines of preparedness, a disaster, any type of need like that. Awesome. And and these pamphlet, you guys have pamphlets, and and what I mean when you look at emergency disaster, you know wh- what are what are a couple of things that maybe. You were surprised that you didn't weren't aware of. I think that uh, we all need to be aware. We're out here in the middle of the ocean, but we are on this big island Earth. We've got a lot of global changes going on. We see Tutupele, 
in Big Island and everything. And I think Maui, Maui County needs to be aware. So thank you to the county and to MauiReadiness.org. There's some things to think of. Um, I love that question that you ask um, because we're Great looking question. at food and water and cash, uh, tissue, can openers, soap, medications, first aid, water purification, dry clothes, and how to keep them dry, shoes, duct tape, safety pins, thermometers, flashlights, just pen and paper or a rescue wish whistle if something happened, blankets or towels, which a lot of people are donating, uh, spare sunglasses or mosquito repellent, hats, sunscreen, work gloves, scissors, tarps, extra keys, sewing kit, and, and extra keys. There's so many things, and there's a you can do this in your car. You can have a Tupperware, you, uh, a bin, a plastic bin in your car, and it's not anything written, but I'm also going to bring it out today. If there's something, just one thing, it could be a picture of your mom, a picture of your kids. It can be a cross. It can be a picture of Jesus. It can be scripture. It can be a stone or a shell that you gathered on the beach, something that's for hope. Because you lose everything, what are you going to hold on to? Right. And we'll come, and we got to come together as community, but we're not exempt from any of this. We're on Maui, but if something happens where there's a high... Um, another earthquake that could be of a high magnitude, let's say, on the Big Island, we could have a tsunami out here. Of course. Are we prepared? And what do we need to do that? And for anyone that needs to, to be aware for their for their cars, get some rope and flares and water, a shovel, some blankets, some uh, some gobble, goggles, jumper cables. Get a and keep keep it in your car all the keep time. Keep it in your car. Keep um, an extra uh, charging thing because your car's still going. You know, so you can charge your phone, so you can have communication. We're in another age right now, so Facebook, internet, we're sharing information and and staying current. So right, and that's the that's the one thing. Whenever I lived in Olinda for ten years, and when the power would go off up there, it would go off for like four days in a row, there you go. and and you just all of a sudden you realize what a resource your automobile battery is. Mm. Exactly. You know, you don't realize it's a resource. And another thing you said that I thought was really interesting is the can opener. Yeah, can opener. Some people might not think <laughs> that, but like, what good is sending tons of cans of stuff? Right. Without can openers. Without can openers. And there Flashlights might be a lot of rice, too. but how are you yeah. going to cook it? We have a lot of kiabi, though. Yeah. But you brought up a good point, though, Ala, about. Uh, Last night I had insomnia, so I caught every infomercial that was on TV, but also I caught, and apparently this has been a daily, nightly thing at 2 o'clock, is the uh, emergency response that goes on to tell us there's been an earthquake on a big island. Oh. So this has been going on. I've caught it now for a few times this week. Uh, so, yeah, this is getting real. And the biggest thing, just to, just to end that, uh, just what I want to say is that most people don't realize we lose... Something like a tsunami where you get shut down or water gets shut down, electricity. Everybody's going to clear out Costco. And it's two weeks before another boat comes. Right. So this two-week sales period that Costco would have of supplies could be gone in less than two days. Right. And it's not like I know people who have left Hawaii for those exact reasons. And, you and, know? and we're, we haven't been there yet. We haven't been in that Thank, situation. Thankfully. Yeah, thankfully. But you never know. You never know. We, even even Oahu could go from one part of the island to another with, with trucks, exactly. and we can't. Can we uh, share a prayer with everybody? Um, yeah. Um, we're uh, Suzanne Kayan, and this is the Maui Zan Show, and we're just about out of here. So I'm going to run the music, and we'll say the prayer. And do, you, do you still want some music? We were working on... It, we blew the hour, We man. did. Okay. We're going to have to come to Nalu's for the we'll music. We are. We're writing a new song. Ina kia ko mana lani mana loa yezi Christo ma ke ohane ina o mako Michael hiki a kala kau ina kini a koe holo mai e na keki o ka aina ho po mai kai na kapuna meki na keki na kani meki na wahini from Maui with great aloha from Akaku and everyone here in Nalu South Shore Grill we just want to send our aloha to all those even the unborn over to the Big Island and we embrace you in the spirit of aloha in the spirit of ohana continued grace to you and healing we support. And let us say amen together. Amen. Oh, oh, woman. All right. Hi, I'm Shaggy Jenkins, Program Director for KAKU FM, The Voice of Maui. We are a listener supported station. And as such, we depend on your donations and the support of local businesses to keep our broadcast going. 
If you would like to help KAKU 88.5, please go to our website at kakufm.org slash give to make a donation today. Thanks for your support. It's Flashpoints on KAKU 88.5 FM, Kahului Maui, the voice of Maui.